I'm going to see my mom. She's a big mucky muck in the county school system. She's my hero. How do I explain her? She's as respected as Mother Teresa. She's as powerful as Stalin, and she's as beautiful as Margaret Thatcher. In or out, last late doorway is creepy. Right, sorry. Choosing in. So, what do you want, Leslie? Just here to gossip, gab, chat, stuff we do. But it looks like you're super busy, and I am super busy, so I shall bid you adieu. Oh, that's weird. I just remembered something. I have my own subcommittee now. Yeah. I'm sure you've heard something about it. People are talking about it. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, we're having a town hall meeting tomorrow at 7 p.m. at the Smithfield Community Center. Mm. Yeah, I'm leading it. Yeah, it's no biggie. I mean, it is. It's a big deal. I mean, I don't know. I, you know. You want to come? Oh, honey, geez, you know how busy I am. I know. I know. I know. That's why I fake invited you. <laughs> I'll try to be there. Jerry, what's up, man? Hey, you're into pretzels, right? Bam! Get him up, man. Thanks for coming down. I got a seat taped up for you over there. My top priority with this park? Getting your fences in there. I drove by one of your fences the other day. I was like, man, that fence looks awesome. I was like, of course, Roy's. If you're into chocolate muffins, grab as many as you want. Some people may say that bringing in these contractors this early is jumping the gun a little bit. Well, guess what? Here's the gun, here's me. Boom. Victor, Miles, Tom, Haverford, how are you? Thank you so much for coming down. I want to introduce you to Leslie. Victor Miles. Hi. Uh, he's a gentleman I met canvassing. He also happens to be the top sod guy in Indiana. That's terrific. Hey, Les. Hey. I really want you to nail this. Huh? Don from Don Cement. Tom Haverford. Good to see you. Singing of a jingle for your company. How's this? Don Cement is the best you can get. Don's. Oh, so glad you're here. Yeah, Andy came too to give us support. I have a lot of stage experience, so. This will be fine, right? It's a park, for God's sakes. How much can they hate a park? A lot of them seem to hate a park yesterday. April! April, I need you in the audience. Okay. Wait, and if the questions start getting negative, I'm gonna call on you and I need you to sell the crap out of the park. Can you do that? Why? Please, April, this is serious. Can you do that? Probably. Good girl, good girl. Good probably, good girl. Okay, here we go, line up, everybody. My mom's here. My mom's here. My mom's here. Oh, no, I can't do that. That's illegal. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. This is our first town meeting about the proposal to turn Lot 48 on Sullivan Street into a community park. Yeah! This is gonna be a train wreck. I want my daughter to be successful, which is why I always tell her there's nothing wrong with being a wife and mother. Now, there are many people that I spoke to who are passionately in support of this idea. None of them were able to make it tonight, unfortunately, but they totally exist. I did not make them up. Oh, I see a question. Okay. No, no. Uh, no. No questions right now. My name is Kate Spivak. Mm -hmm, I remember you. And I live in the neighborhood. And I am 100% against this park. I cannot believe the department is moving forward with the project without a single environmental impact study. And if you guys agree with me, let's take a stand. Oh. Woo. Okay. Um, we are uh, a little ahead of schedule uh, because we're holding this town hall meeting so soon, which I was warned about by Mark Brandanowitz, our city planner assigned to this project. Uh, so what would he say? Hmm. Here we are. Leslie, should I give them some background info on the site? Absolutely, okay. Mark Brandanowitz knows the answer to every question. He's amazing, and congratulations for hearing him speak. <clears throat> Hi there. Uh, Leslie might have oversold me a little bit. <laughs> Certainly did not. He's the man. He's capable of anything. Okay. Lot 48 is uh, it's a rectangular lot. It's got excellent drainage, and it's on the corner of Sullivan and Collins. Any questions? I have more of a comment than a question. Go for it. Just for the guy in the casts. Here we go, Lawrence. Yes, yes, yes. That is Andy Dwyer. He is a local resident, and he tragically fell in the pit. Uh, yeah, I don't care about any of that. He's the guy that plays music all night in his garage. And it's driving me nuts. Lawrence lives with uh, his grandma which is pretty awesome. 
He takes care of her, I guess, but whatever, he's a douchebag. It's loud, it's abusive, and it's waking up my birds. You have birds now? Yeah, I have birds. I have nice, pretty, expensive birds, and you play that music and it wakes them up. Look, I don't work for the government, okay? Uh, I do play rock and roll. Guilty as charged. I'm in a band. It's called Just the Tip. And actually, if anyone here plays bass, uh, we need a bassist. Yes. Okay, let's take a five minute break, shall we? Thank you.